the so called yoga which the west and part of the east in india was invented about the 17th and 18th century the exercises in order to not only to have a very good body healthy body through force you understand through discipline through control in order to awaken so called higher energy 17th 18th century the real yoga which is called raja yoga king of yogas is to lead highly moral life not morality according to circumstances according to culture but true ethical activity in life not to hurt not to drink not to dr drug yourself right amount of sleep right amount of food clear thinking hmm and acting morally doing the right thing i won't go into all that what is right and wrong and they never mentioned as far as i understand from, after talking with great many scholars they never mentioned about exercise they said exercise normally walk do swim all that but their emphasis was a very moral life highly mind which is active and modern yoga the meaning of the word you know of course all of you probably know is i've talked to the scholars too and they say it doesn't quite mean that which is to join the meaning of the word yoga is to join join the ha higher with the lower or the lower with the higher you know and modern yoga i don't know why you're talking about all this nonsense <laughs> i don't know why they call it yoga it should be called just exercise but that wouldn't appeal to you you have to pay money to learn yoga to breathe properly and all that really you can practice yoga with the exercises of different kinds the speaker has done some of it for years taught by the experts fortunately they didn't charge <laughs> because they also thought i was an expert <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm not an expert <laughs> and so they soon deserted me I deserve to be told. Sir, you can do this kind of yoga exercise for the rest of your life. You won't awaken spiritual insight. No. will the awakening of a higher energy come into being 
you know, in the the East has word for this called Kundalini. Some of you probably have read or been caught in that word. But most of the people, as far as I have discussed with them, who have gone into this matter very deeply, they are always quoting somebody else, back to the original mischief maker. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just want to... <laughs> and none of them, please believe me, none of them have awakened this thing. They talk about it. They have they feel certain experience under which they are called by this name. I have discussed with them very seriously. And what they are talking about, a certain form of increasing energy to do more mischief. I'm, I mean that. By eating right food, by control, by breathing properly, etc., 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 you have more energy, naturally. And that gives you a sense of superiority in the your enlightenment and so on. But there is a different form of... I won't go into it, because the, you all are eager. I am not touching it. <laughs> that can only happen when the Self is not. Then there is a totally different kind of energy to keep the mind fresh, young, alive. And that can only come when there is absolutely no sense of the Self. Right? Obvious reason. Because the Self, the Me, the center, is in constant conflict. Right? Wanting, not wanting, creating dualities, opposing desires, hmm? this constant struggle that's going on. As long as that struggle is going on, there is a wastage of energy, obviously. When that struggle is not, there is totally different kind of energy taking place. Right? There is a story of a man, of a philosopher or a patriarch, he was a well-known teacher, and a disciple came to him and said, Master, teach me how to meditate. So he sat up in the right position, you know, and closed his eyes and began to breathe very deeply, trying to capture the higher webs and vibrations and all the rest of it. So the Master picks up two pieces of stone and rubs them, keeps on rubbing them. And the disciple opens his eyes and says, Master, what are you doing? He says, I am trying to make out of the stone a mirror so that I can look at myself. And the disciple says, Master, that you can never do that. He said, in the same way, my friend, you can sit like that and breathe like that forever, but you're never... got it? 